everybody we have a bonus video this week happy Wednesday <laughs> I said to myself before I started well, don't say happy Monday don't say happy Monday because all of our videos are on Mondays but uh, we are in Wednesday now I wanted to bring you a bonus video that was separate from our little stitch along that we have going on right now to tell you all about my next fabric collection Enchanted Meadow and give you a sneak peek at another collaboration collection that Riley Blake is doing as well. So we have so many fun things to talk about. Um, I'm super excited that you guys took the time to hang out with me on this Wednesday afternoon. I really am looking forward to hearing what you think of Enchanted Meadow. I want to show you all the prints, the quilts that will be coming out in the next couple weeks, and new needle minders, all sorts of really fun things that are on their way. So I would love for you to pop on and say hello and see who's here. Over on YouTube, we have Dolores from Mississippi, Maureen from California, Aline's here, and she says, yay, bonus video. Yay, Aline. <laughs> Thank you. Wendy's over on Facebook, and so is Shirley. Oh, I'm so excited. Shirley's excited for Enchanted Meadow. I really hope you like it, Shirley. It's going to be such a fun collection. It's, um, it's really... I think it'll be good for winter, do winter projects, but there's enough florals in there that I feel like it could be a year-round collection very easily as well. So kind of more that woodland than winter vibe, but I'm kind of all about the woodland stuff right now being in January, so I'm excited to sew with it. I've already done a couple things with it. I'm working on quilts behind the scenes, and I'm sewing with that for my... Um, blocks for the RBD block challenge. So I'm going to show you guys those as well. So it's going to be really fun, but I wanted to tell you, we are going to have a giveaway today and it is going to be a time giveaway. Basically, if you are watching live, you're entered in the giveaway if you leave a comment. So I will um, see who all is watching live. I'm going to keep tally of comments and um, I will announce the winner of the giveaway at the end. So we'll talk about that in a little bit, but I wanted you to know this is like a very short giveaway time period for those of you that are able to watch live. If you're not able to watch live, I'm sorry. You guys know I do giveaways every week in my videos. This is just a special one. So um, it's just for those that are watching live this time. <laughs> Please don't be mad <laughs> if you're watching later. All right, let's talk about all the fun things. Oh, hi, Dawn. Super excited. Oh, and Connie's here, and Sarah's from North Carolina. Is it gorgeous in North Carolina today? It is gorgeous here. Cammie's here from Alabama, and Mercy's here. Oh, Gretchen is from Pennsylvania. Yay. And you're sewing? What are you sewing, Gretchen? We would love to know. Susan's here from West Virginia. And, um, oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. Yay. Maureen's here. Super fun. Okay. Wendy loves the giveaways. I love the giveaways, too, Wendy. So fun. Okay, so Enchanted Meadow. It is going to be arriving in stores hopefully at the end of January. Looks like everything's on time right now. You guys know I'll keep you posted as far as the information that I get when I get it. But as the last I've heard, it should be shipping to stores in the end of this month. So we are going to be doing a so long with this collection, but that won't start until the beginning of March. So I wanted to give you guys plenty of time. I know how hard it is to start a sew along when you don't have the fabric. So I bumped it back a couple weeks more than what I normally do. And I also, because there isn't a kit for this fabric collection, I have several shops that have are saying that they're going to kit it up. But because there's not a boxed kit, it takes a little bit of time because they have to assemble those themselves. So I wanted to give the shops plenty of time to get those to you as well. Um, in today's video description, I do have a list of shops that have said they put up lists for pre-orders or you can put in your email to be notified when they get there, when they get the fabric. So check out that list if you want to go ahead and pre-order Enchanted Meadow or if you want to pre-order the Walk in the Woods quilt kit that we're going to be doing in beginning of March as are so long. So I'm going to show you that too. So should we dive in? Let me tell you a little bit about how Enchanted Meadow came to be. 
I've always loved woodland things. That is one of my favorite things. I don't want to live in the woods, but I like the idea of them. <laughs> and I love the little animals and all that kind of thing. I'm a big reader. So I always love stories that have woods in them, like, you know, Narnia. I grew up reading that. And of course, my sister loves Winnie the Pooh. So we read The Hundred Acre Wood many times. Um, Harry Potter, of course, with their Forbidden Forest. I mean, it's just so fun. It just adds a really fun element to a story. And I like those like fantasy sort of uh, books. So I wanted to make a collection that didn't feel childish, but also shared my love for woodland things. So in the collection, there are some cute florals, of course, but also some pine needles and some cute little forest friends and some different elements like that. So I'm gonna talk about sort of the inspiration behind each print as we go, but I wanted you guys to know the heart behind the collection. So we're gonna go over each print in the collection, which is very exciting. We're gonna go over the quilts and the needle minders, and then I'm gonna show you uh, the storyboard. Riley Blake does a really big printout. Um, you can look at it online or in printout form. I have the printout, so I'm gonna show you guys. And the beautiful thing about the storyboard is they list solids and basics from Riley Blake that blend with a collection. So maybe there's a, a print that you don't love. Maybe you don't want cute little woodland foxes in your quilts. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why, but maybe you don't. So you could look at that list and see what would be a good basic to sub out. Or if you want to just use a few prints or if you want to use a background that's a different color, you know, this will give you a good idea of things to use to sub in if you would like. And I've linked to the PDF of the storyboard on today's video description as well, so you can check that out online. Those are always on the Riley Blake website, so if there's a collection that you're curious about or if you just want to see sneak peeks of collections that are coming out, um, that is a really good way to do it. If you check the storyboards page on Riley Blake's website, you'll be able to see some sneak peeks at fun things coming out. I will tell you there is some new stuff from me that is already on the storyboards website, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. You can go hunt for it if you want, but it's coming out like this fall. So if you want a very, very sneak peek of that, you can check that out. So let me change cameras, and then we'll get started looking at fabrics. All right. Oh, there's my computer. Hey, here we go. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get with this fun little camera. All right, Susanna, I hope you will be able to come buy this uh, collection somewhere in Europe. I hope so, too. If um, I know of a place, I will let you know um, if I hear of a place. Okay, let's see. Over on YouTube. Um, you just got a bundle. Connie just got a bundle of Stardust. Oh, yay. That's exciting. And Maureen loves woodland things, too. Oh, and so does Aline. Yay. Oh, Sharon saw a sneak peek of the new collection. Yay. I'm so glad, Sharon. I can't wait for you guys to see that, too, but we're not going to talk about that yet. So let's talk about fabrics. So there are a multitude of colors in um, Enchanted Meadow, mostly pinks, aquas, greens, and navies. And this is, there's a main print. This is the pink version of that main print. And I just really, I have big pieces of fabric here for you guys. So I really want you to be able to see, you know, what it looks like out. I am planning on, I bought an extra bolt of this and some of the main prints because I'm going to use them for fabric backing. I love a big floral on the back of a quilt. I think it makes it just as pretty as the front or almost as pretty as the front. <laughs> But it gives you that two-sided, almost reversible look to a quilt when you use a big floral print as the background. So this is the pink version of the main print. And you can see there's all these really pretty like florals, daisies, um, flowers, but there's also some delicate uh, pine needles. Let me get this a little bit closer so you can see what these are. Can you see these little? Here we go. It's a nice subtle, it's hard to tell in this. I don't wanna wash it out. But you can see there's just these real subtle little pine needles that are scattered throughout. It's a little bit easier to see in person than it is on camera. But they are scattered throughout and they give it a really fun woodland vibe without being super woodsy with, you know, like you're living in a log cabin. Not that I have any problem with log cabins. <laughs> so this print also comes in this gorgeous color. It's like a songbird blue. Um, 
I use as much as I can I try and name my prints that have the same background as a Riley Blake basic that same color so if you want to go and find this solid you can look for songbird solid so that's just a hint on how I name my colors is I use the Riley Blake solid that is closest to it or exactly the same so you can easily blend in with solids and basics so this is the aqua color and then this is the navy and this color is called denim and I love this navy because it's not a really deep navy of course any navy is great right but this one is a little bit softer and I felt like it went with really well with these florals so this is kind of a fun, let me scooch down here. So now you can see those pine needles a lot better as they pop against the navy. So here's kind of what they look like in the collection. And you can see compared to my hand how big the florals are. They're big enough to use as a background or you know as a quilt, but also small enough that you can fussy cut these and get them in a good size block and you'll see that when I show you my RBD block challenge blocks, they're not such a big floral that you can't get a good amount of this big floral in the block itself, depending upon the size of the square, of course. So, oh yeah, I'm so glad you guys are liking the denim. It is really one of my favorite things. So I'm going to scooch these out of the way. Those are all the main prints. Now I have to show you, these are so fun. This is called Forest Friends. And this is the woodland animal print. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer here. I can show you these. So there is a, a fun scattering of flowers, of course, but there's also some little deers, some foxes, a cute little bird on a floral trunk. There is a bunny and some little mushrooms that are scattered around. And then, of course, some more of those little pine needles and flowers. So this one is really sweet. It comes in, and how cute will these be for fussy cutting? They're nice and small, so even in like a two-inch block, you're going to be able to get, you know, the whole animal and have it really framed in that block. So I'm going to do that with some of my RBD block challenge blocks, so you'll be able to see that as we go, too. So this is really fun. Um, Yes, some of Maureen says she likes the deer as a needle minder. Yeah, I'm going to show you all the whole collection of woodland needle minders. You guys are going to love these. But the deer and the hedgehog are already in needle minder form now. So that print comes in the cute denim as well. And the animals kind of change color a little bit based on the background. And then it comes in this really great green color which I love. I wanted a nice variety of colors in this collection so it wasn't very monochromatic. I wanted a pretty blend. Um, I talk with my hands a lot, you guys. <laughs> I hope I'm not driving you nuts. Um, oh my gosh, Cammie's having a so dang cute fit. <laughs> Cammie, that was maybe my one of my favorite comments ever. I love that. Um, so this is really fun as well. It has the little pine needles in a soft color and then of course the the cute woodland animals and don't you guys think they're they would be great for kids projects but I love that they're not super kiddish not juvenile I don't think at least not for me I would happily have these little guys all over my quilts and things which I will <laughs> but I wanted to find that fun blend of something that adults and kids would like and I hope that I've I hope you think that I've found that so this is forest friends and I'm going to have to see some of these uh, fabric uh, collection print names change. So I'm going to grab my storyboard here as a cheat sheet so that I can look them up. Because, okay. So this print is called Scattered Flowers. And I, I really love this. You guys know I do a lot of embroidery. And this print is wrinkled. I'm going to move it up here so you can see it a little bit better with the zoom in. There we go. Um, so it's got a little dashed, almost running stitch line that is all through the little tiny flowers. And this one is a pretty tiny little print. In fact, when it's far away, it's hard to tell that there's that dish, that stitched line through there. You can see compared to my hand how tiny these little flowers are. And so 
this is a really fun print and I love these little like stitching lines. This would be great. I mean, it's small enough that it'll work good in any block shape, but it'll also be a really pretty binding if you wanted to use it almost as a stripe binding. So that comes in the denim, it comes in this green, and then it comes in this rosy pink. So we have light pink and then we have like a like a medium rosy pink. And this color is called, let me look. Don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> so this is coral and then denim and then these are green, green. <laughs> really fancy there with the green. Um, so this is coral. It's kind of, I wouldn't say it's a real peachy color, It's, but it's not just strictly pink either. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see without the, the glare of the lights there. Isn't that a pretty one? So this is called Scattered Flowers. <laughs> Sarah really likes the hedgehog, yay! And Dolores, I do pet the fabric. <laughs> we all pet the fabric, right? Okay, so this print is a fun one, and it is called um, Bouquets. So I love this one because it's got these little, almost wedding ring sort of circles on here that are really subtle, and then each little flower has a bow, and so it looks kind of like a little bouquet. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see more of the details of this print. Isn't that pretty? This one is also a small floral, but I love how delicate it looks with these almost pearl rings in here. So this comes in this pale pink color, which is called pink. <laughs> this is denim, same print. And then it also comes in a really pretty creamy white. So I made this one not white background because I wanted to be able to use it with white background fabrics, quilts and still have it kind of show up. So it is considered, let me look, it is considered vintage white is what they call it. And they do make a basic that is called vintage white. So if you want to get something that is this exact creamy color, you can do that. So this one is called bouquets. I'm gonna hold that up a little bit more so you can see how pretty that is. Isn't that fun and delicate? I like it. <laughs> okay, so that is bouquets. So now we are on to the mushrooms. So this one is a little bit darker. It's kind of like a brick. Um, it's called red. They call it red. Um, but it is very close to the Riley Blake Jazzberry is what the color is called. My dogs are going to bark in just a minute, so bear with me about that. So let me show you these a little bit. These are just the sweetest little mushrooms. Wait for it to zoom in there. There we go. So it's kind of a plaid looking thing, almost like an Irish chain quilt. And then there's a sweet little mushroom in a frame in the middle of it. And this one will be perfect for fussy cutting as well. So this comes in that darker red color. It comes in the pale pink with little red mushrooms. And then it also comes in this really great aqua with green, um, the Irish chain green, and then it has um, like little dark green mushrooms. Isn't that fun? Yes, in tiny hoops, Dawn, you're right. <laughs> yes, so that one is really fun. That's one of my favorite prints in the whole collection, and they're just tiny mushrooms, but I really, really love them. <laughs> so I wanted to have a good blender filler and it's going to be hard for you to see this color because it's going to kind of wash out on the screen but this is sort of a hot pink color that's not too bad it's just a micro dot that's very scattered there we go so this one's just a really bright pink and that comes in it's got a light pink dot this comes in that songbird which has a navy dot and then it also comes in that coral color with a darker pink dot. So you can see how they blend together. They're really pretty. These would make great backgrounds for quilts as well if you want to sub out anything and use it as a background. We got, we got a fabric stack going here. Okay. 
Okay, don't put your fabric on your computer. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna start putting these on the ground or else, you know, we're gonna start this whole video over again. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> this is live, it's fun. Okay, so let me go to our overhead again. So sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so this one is a really fun, this is called Pine Needles. And this is the pine needles of the print with some little berries that are scattered all throughout it. And I'm gonna pull this up here a little bit so you can see. Isn't that cute? It's a kind of a subtle print, almost two color print. And then it has these little berries like pops of colors. <laughs> I know you guys are loving this. Okay, so this is pine needles in the songbird blue. This comes in the pale pink with some little bright pink berries. And then it also comes in that vintage white. And this one you can really see the green. I'm gonna see if I can get that to not wash out for you. There we go. That's a good true picture of that. So it's an off-white pine needle with a green, off-white background with a, a green pine needle and then the little berries. So that's fun. And those are the pine needle prints. And then to finish things off, I have a houndstooth print. And I want to tell you a story about this fun little houndstooth print. So growing up, my mom made a lot of her clothes and our clothes, and she was great that way. And she had this green polyester houndstooth pantsuit that she made for herself. It's like a one piece thing, it was awesome very polyester because that was the 70s and she made doll clothes for us so my dolls my Barbies we all everybody not the kids but all the dolls and my mom had this great green houndstooth pantsuit and it had a houndstooth that was almost a plaid so can you guys see how the plaid kind of runs through and makes these like squares of houndstooth this was just like her pantsuit so I wanted to include a houndstooth in this collection for my mom because it's such a fun addition so this is kind of like a bright aqua color this is got that denim and cream and then it also comes in a red and pink so you can really see how bold and fun this is these will be great for bindings and making your blocks, elements in your blocks really pop because they've got such bold prints and colors. So I think that, I hope you guys like these. These are really fun and it was so fun to design these. So this one's for my mom. <laughs> yes, Janice, it was great memories. She also wore these wooden clogs when she wore the pantsuit and I don't know if you guys um, ever had them in the 70s. Well, they're coming back in now, but the whole keel of the clog was wooden. And when she'd wear those, we were always scared to death because <laughs> inevitably we would get kicked in the ankle. Like not that she would kick us, but just walking around somehow when you're wearing wooden shoes, something gets kicked. <laughs> we would always be like, ah, the wooden shoes are back on. <laughs> okay, so that's the whole collection. And it, I really can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. So I'm gonna kind of show you really quick some of the basics that go with it. So this, you can't see the whole thing, but this is the storyboard. And um, so here's all the prints, but there's also several solids. So they say, these are Riley Blake recommended. So this Fern Shades, Baby Pink Blossom, Songbird Solid, this Azure Shabby, and then there is a baby pink Swiss dot, raspberry kisses, denim texture, denim blossom. You guys know I love blossom, right? And then there is a coral bee cross stitch, that jazzberry solid that's red, a denim Swiss dot, and then a denim stripe. So again, this uh, storyboard in PDF form is linked in the video description today. So you can check that out if you want to have a place to remember what solids and basics would go with the collection. Oh, Darlene, yay, thank you, she likes it. <laughs> hey, Michelle, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> All right, oh wait, Dawn says her mom made her dad a turquoise polyester hounds to suit. Ah, I love it, Dawn, that's the best. <laughs> okay, so. I am going to talk, let's talk about quilts. 
So our sew along will be for the walk in the woods quilt pattern. So this is a big square quilt. It's, um, it says 74 by 74, but I think when we did the pattern, it is 72 by 72. So sometimes this information is, is not 100% accurate. So you'll always want to verify against the storyboard with the actual pattern. So, but this is the quilt that we'll be doing the sew along and we'll be taking a section each week in March is when it starts. So we'll do like this section, we'll do these blocks, we'll do these fun houndstooth, we'll do the trees, and then we'll do these big stars that are in the corners, and then of course the border. So I can't wait to sew this up with you. And as I mentioned at the very beginning, there are some shops that have already put together pre-orders for these kits. So if you want to do that, if you want to pre-order that now, which I highly recommend doing, that way you'll be among the first to get the quilt and you won't have to wait. So check those shops out. It's linked under the Enchanted Meadow Fabric Shops. So you can go there and check it out. And then I'm also partnering with a gal that is local. Her name is Brooke and she owns Lady Bird Fabrics and she does long arm quilting as well. So she is offering to anyone who sews along with the Walk in the, walk in the Woods quilt along, 20% off of their long arming. If you, so you sew up the quilt and as long as you finish it before July, you can send it to her and she'll give you a 20% discount on her long arming. And we're also gonna run a giveaway through that entire sew along for somebody who's sewing along and sharing photos for a free quilting of your finished quilt. So make sure you check her out. I've got her quilt shop, um, well, the quilting side of her shop listed in today's video description. It's Lady Bell Quilting. So you wanna check her out. She is amazing and she's done a lot of my quilts. You guys will love her. So that is this quilt. This is the one that we will be doing the sew along with. These patterns are all done. They will be in the store probably in the next week and a half or two weeks. So I just wanted to let you know when they'll be in. They are, I don't have my samples made yet. I am crazily sewing. You can see the Walk in the Woods, a smaller version. This was digitally printed for market last fall. So this is what's behind me here, but this is just a smaller version. Like this one is like 50 by 50 or something like that. So it will be bigger than this when it's actually sewn up and finished. So that is this quilt. Then we also have the Wildflower Fields quilt. I really like sampler style quilts and I wanted this one to be, I thought this collection would go great with a sampler. For this quilt, I wrote the pattern with a pale like bleached denim background. I'm also using this background for my enchanted, my uh, RBD block challenge blocks. I'll show you those in a minute. But this is a walk in the woods. If you are a shop owner and want to do this quilt, this would be great as a block of the month program. So, or you could just do it yourself as a block of the month. Just make each style um, one a month or you know one a week or whatever you would like to do. I think we might do a sew along with this one as well when we finish a walk in the woods. So keep that in mind. I just think this is a really fun one and it looks complicated, but the blocks are all pretty basic and I can walk you through all that as well. So this is a fun sampler style quilt. This one is big. It is coming in at 70 by 93. So it's a nice big quilt. There are also versions of these quilts by my testers on Instagram. So you can check those out if you want to. Um, you can just search for the title as a hashtag and they should come up. So this is one of the other new quilts. This is called Starry Meadow. I really love a star block. These are a nice big star block with a cute almost Irish chain sort of feature in the middle. I'm gonna zoom this in so you can see. There we go. This is a fat quarter friendly quilt and it's got a fun border that is almost like ribbon sashing. I really love how this border turned out. So this one will be out as well. And then I recolored my tea rose quilt pattern. That one's been out for a while. I originally made it in a different fabric, but this is showing it in Enchanted Meadows. So you can see what that looks like too. 
So those are the quilts for the collection. Those again will be out in the next month and a half or so. And now we should talk about needle minders. So I'm gonna hold those off. So these are the current needle minders. I'm going to bring this down so that you guys can see. Watch out for the earthquake there. Now we're good. Okay, so these are current needle minders. This is the little hedgehog. It looks black on here. It's not black, it's, um, it's brown. It's like a really dark brown. And isn't she so cute? She's one of my favorites. She was one of the first ones that I put out. And she's holding a little flower. And then the deer is also available already now there are also embroidery patterns that match both of these there's a little harriet the hedgehog and daisy the floral deer so you can check those out in my shop and that's linked in the video description as well so those are already available and then coming in the next week probably at the end of next week or the beginning i'm not sure look at this beauty isn't she so pretty her name is Francine. She is the very cutest little fox and she has a darling little collar on. And I'm so excited with how she came out. So she will be in the store. She is brand new needle minder and I'm thinking about doing her in charm form as well. So let me know if that's something that would appeal to you. We also have a very cute little cream colored bunny. She's got something on her eye there. She's got eyelashes that are very tiny and it's hard to see. She's also got a little flower and um, so, so, so cute. She's covered in flowers and she's got a little pink bow at her neck and a little pink tail. It's having trouble zooming. I think maybe I'm too close. <laughs> Let's see if we can get her to zoom in here. There we go. Oh, it's struggling. <laughs> okay, so and then the last brand new one that we have right now is I couldn't let that little tree trunk with the cute pink birdie go. So this is brand new as well. Isn't she just so sweet? She's got the little rings on the trunk. Oh, you guys like the idea of doing the charms? Oh, I'm so glad. Yay. All right. Well, I'll have to check and see about the charms then. And then she's just really cute. She kind of goes along with my, um, I did the little birdie on top of the present for Christmas. So this one is really fun and kind of in that same line. So those are all the brand new Woodland needle minders and they will be in the shop very soon. We're gonna go back up here. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you my Riley Blake block challenge blocks. Riley Blake is doing a free sew along right now and every so it's the first three Tuesdays of every month they're going to be releasing a new pattern they're all free and the layout will be free as well and um, you can we just started this is week two right now and all 16 blocks are designed by different Riley Blake designers pardon me So everybody's taking turns. It's really fun. The first block, this one, is called Jay-Z Chain, I believe, and it is designed by Lori Holt. Doesn't it look like a Lori Holt block? <laughs> so this shows you kind of what those Enchanted Meadow fabrics look like in a block. So, and also what that blue, you can see it's a very, very light blue, and it might be hard to tell. But I love the just veil, very pale aqua, and it blends so well with Enchanted Meadow. This is the same background. Well, there you can kind of see the blue and white. It's just really pale and pretty. So this is the first block. This is sideways. This is the second block. And this is the block I designed for the challenge. So this is my sweetheart block. And you can see a little bit more of the blue and again, more of that enchanted meadow fabric. So you can see how fun that is. I wanted a heart block to really show off those florals, but then I wanted to frame it in a kind of a cute, fun, different way. So I've got these diagonal things here that piece together really fun. And so all the patterns are free and there will be a free layout at the end to put it all together. And the layout, you guys, is epic. I mean epic so um, definitely dive in I've got links to those things on my 
on the video description today so you can check it out and there's <clears throat> excuse me sorry there's a video tutorial every week as well for the block so it's even easier to, for you to follow along with so check out my blog and every week I will put up my version of the block in these fabrics so that you can see how the whole thing will look and you can sew along there's also a Riley Blake Facebook group for the block challenge that is super active and really fun I'm telling you if you guys like to see blocks in different prints join that Facebook group because it's amazing so check that out for sure and then I will talk to you really quick about the giveaway we're not done yet because I want to show you a new um, collaboration collection but today's giveaway is for every single one of the new where did the other one go oh <laughs> I put them inside each other every so one winner at the end of today is going to win every single one of the brand new quilt patterns how great is that so remember to keep commenting okay so before we're finished we're just trucking right along here I want to show you guys a brand new collaborative collection that is um, arriving in stores this month and it's called red hot so if you are familiar with if you've been following along um, with me for a while or if you know Riley Blake we did a collaborative collection in the fall called hush hush it's still available in stores it's a low volume collection and it's amazing you guys so there are 21 different prints in the collection and each one of them was designed by a different designer so they all have really fun different personalities but they're all low volumes and if you love red and white collections you're gonna love this too now I don't know off the top of my head who designed what here so I can't tell you that, but I do have the Red Hot Red Hot Storyboard. Do you guys love Red Hot Candies? I thought that was such a great name. I love them. I don't need a lot of candy anymore, but I did love a Red Hot. <laughs> so if you want to check out the storyboard, it's linked in the video description, and that one you will be able to see who designed each print in the collection. So these are gorgeous, you guys, and each print from the designer comes in a red background with cream prints, and a cream or white with the red prints so hi Janice so this one is fun and it's a little hard to see but it's like a 3d cube can you guys see that isn't that fun so this one is the first one and I'm just gonna go through these kind of fast but I wanted you to keep it on your radar as something to watch for as it's going to hit stores sometime this month as well I don't know the time on this either let me see if I can if I can bring this down just a touch so you guys can see this a little bit better I just think it's kind of washing out okay so um, so here's the white version and the red in a really pretty um, kind of a leafy print and this the camera's a little bit washing these out this is kind of a a medium red not a super a bright red like you're seeing there so just keep that in mind as you're looking through the prints red is a hard one to get on camera now this one is a dark red let's see if it will ever there you can kind of see right here this is pretty true to color as far as this deep red and look at you guys there's little umbrellas all over it oh my goodness this one is so much fun and this one comes in a creamy version with different colored umbrellas on it isn't this fun Susan's excited about this now I bet you know who this one's I'm pretty sure this is Lori Holt I'm not 100% sure but this feels like Lori Holt with the pattern pieces so this one's really cute that's the red and that's the white isn't that darling I love this one this one my this one might be Lori too I don't know there's not it's not they're not both Lori but I don't remember who's who's I'm sorry so this is just a great red and white print isn't that good and here's the white version so gorgeous right and um, these roses are amazing you guys so here's the red here's the white Oh, I love that so much. This one is beautiful. It's got a tiny little flower and a really cute, almost like running stitch plaid there. Isn't that great? 
There's the red and white of that. See if you guys can guess which one's mine. I have not come across it yet, but I would love to see if you guess what I'm going to have. This feels like Minky Kim to me with the pretty hexagons in all sorts of different prints. Look at that, you guys. Oh, you know that's hers with those darling illustrations. Isn't that so sweet? So this one is really cute. This one is just a great blender print with the diamonds. So here's the red, here's the white. There you go, pretty little designs. This one is really creative and fun, you guys. It's those one line face drawings. I, I'm obsessed with this. Can you see all the little faces? All the little pretty, like I love this guy right here, or girl, I'm not sure which, but I love her little hair. And then this one feels a little bit like me with the glasses and the, and the <laughs> headband. <laughs> And then there's that comes in a red, of course, too. Isn't that so great? Um, this one is a very nice, just kind of almost like a four-leaf clover sort of print. There's the red and the white. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. Look at these little houses. So much detail. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my gosh. You guys, it's so good. So that is the little houses in white, and then of course red. It's pretty epic. <laughs> and then this one is kind of like a little 80s cat. I know who that one is too. You guys know who does the cat prints, right? Amanda from Jedi Craft Girl. Look at that with those little 80s pops of like zigzaggy things. And of course cats. So there's the white, there's the red. Isn't that fun? Yes. Yes, the houses are so good, you guys. And then this one you will love too. It's little ladybugs in red and white. They're very tiny. Oh my goodness. I've never made a red and white quilt either, Roxanne, but I'm going to, of course, because these are epic. This one is a very pretty, almost like orange peel sort of design. Isn't that fun? And this one makes me think of like a calico. It's kind of got a dark print, a dark red on it, and then this light. There you go. Wait for that. There. Isn't that pretty and detailed? I really like that one. One sec. Oh, Yvonne made one. Oh, I'd love to see it, Yvonne. Will you post it in the group? Um, this is a sweet, sweet little floral. I love that it's directional. Not very many of these are, and I, you guys know I love a directional print. And these little flowers all going the same direction are so cute. And then here's another little floral. This one is the white background. This one is the red background. It's very hard to tell until you kind of look closely at that one, which is the red and which is the white. But that one's really fun. And then here's another little floral. This feels like Amy Smart to me. I don't know why. I could be wrong. Don't take anything I'm saying as gospel. <laughs> and then this, I'm sure, is um, Quiet Play. She's got such great stars, and they almost look paper-pieced here. Look at that. Isn't that great with these little scattered stars? And then, here's mine. Nobody guessed. <laughs> this is what I did. And if you guys remember a, an older collection of mine called Vintage Keepsakes, this was very similar to one of the prints and I wanted to bring those doilies back. So these are mine. You can see they're really detailed. Just I scanned a bunch of vintage doilies that I had collected and kind of turned them into a, a print. <laughs> so these are all different vintage doilies. I'm obsessed with doilies too, Michelle. <laughs> so these are all, look at this one. I love that one. Is that one called a pineapple? I can't remember. Um, but these are all different pretty little doilies that I have. So I thought these were really fun. So this is the red one, and then this is the white one with the red doilies. 
I just think it's really fun and I hope you guys like it too. Wouldn't this be pretty as a background for a quilt as well or a backing for a quilt? I love it. Okay, so there's been so many fun things and I really, really hope that you like them. I am going to switch back to my camera here and turn that around. You guys aren't looking at it. <laughs> All right, I hope that you love Enchanted Meadow as much as I do. Um, I would really love for you guys to sew along with us when we do the Walk in the Woods quilt along. And as always with my quilt alongs, if you want to sew with Enchanted Meadow, yay you. <laughs> you know I love that. But I would love for you to sew along regardless of what fabrics. Maybe you're trying to save money and you want to use up your stash. That's totally great. Or if you want to pick a different collection, um, I love it. I would love for you to sew along with us regardless of what you are sewing with. So don't feel like you can't sew along if you don't want to use Enchanted Meadow. So I also will have um, at least one embroidery, new embroidery pattern coming out. It is still in process. <laughs> it's very hard over the holidays to um, get a lot done. So things will be coming soon, but the quilt patterns are written fully tested and they will be in the shop soon. And as soon as fabrics arrive in stores, I will let you know as well. And I think we should have our giveaway winner for all four of the brand new patterns. And I'm just going to scroll here really quick. And I had written down my winner. Um, so the winner is Sharon Robinson. She's watching over on YouTube. Sharon, you won all four brand new quilt patterns. Well, the T-Rose isn't brand new, but it has a brand new cover, so it counts, right? So Sharon, send me an email, bev at flamingotoes.com with your mailing address, and I will get these out in the mail to you. You will be one of the first people that has the brand new patterns. So yay, I hope you guys um, like those and are excited about them. Congratulations, Sharon. <laughs> Um, if you have any questions, definitely tag me in the comments. If you're watching later, thank you so much for checking out this collection. I hope you like it as much as I do. I will post often and frequently when they are arriving in stores. If you are a shop that is carrying Enchanted Mendo Meadow, send me an email and I will add you to my fabric shops list. And if you are going to carry it and you want, to, you haven't ordered it already, you can still order, pre-order it from Riley Blake. So go ahead and jump on that now because you guys know if you wait, it's a little bit hard to get everything in. So if you want to carry it, now would be a great time to order it. And if you want your local shop to carry it, I'll, you know, just talk to your local shop about that. Shops love to know what you guys are interested in. So definitely talk to your quilt shop if you would like them to carry a fabric collection. Again, it's Enchanted Meadow. I have um, the RBD block challenge blocks listed in today's video description. I have the storyboard listed. I have the red hot storyboard as well. That's also shipping this month. And you can check out my blog and my shop if you're wanting to look for things. If you are not on my email list, this is a great time because I will be posting in the emails as well when fabric and patterns are available and there will be a shop sale as well so you don't want to miss out on that and if you're watching on YouTube I would love for you to like and subscribe this video that helps me out a ton so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on Wednesday afternoon I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you on Monday as we continue our stitch along of our cute little floral bouquet embroidery sampler so have a great week